Razer has been on their A game over the past year when it comes to their peripherals, and the same can be said about the Razer Blast Shark V2 gaming headset. In this video, we'll do an unboxing and I'll talk about what I liked and what I dislike on this little guy right here. Let's get it! So here's an unboxing of the Razer Black Shark V2. Uh, this is the $99 version of the Razer Black Shark. Uh, so real quick, we'll take a look at the box, kind of the the uh, the plugs that they have on the outside of it. All their different ways to flex. So we have uh, THX spatial audio supported, which uh, will require the USB sound card right there. Uh, Triforce titanium 50 millimeter drivers, uh, and then Hyperclear cardioid mic. I've heard great. I haven't really heard much about the mic, but I know that the the sound of this headset is extremely good from everything I've heard. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, guys, I'm very excited to check it out. Let's get this bad boy cut open and see what it's all about. Slicer right there. All right. Put that right there for safety. And okay, okay. You're, this is a, you're pretty typical Razer packaging. There's nothing crazy about it at all. I got a booklet here, blah, blah, blah. Everything's saying, thanks for buying our product and stuff. Probably a sticker somewhere in that. Whatever. Let's toss that over to the side and get this bad boy slid out of the box right here. All right. So, nice little carrying case, kind of, kind of like a little felt bag. Uh, I mean, it feels all right. Uh, not, not the craziest carrying case, but... To be honest with you, I, I don't think I've ever used a headset carrying case. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I don't think I've ever used a headset carrying case. So, foam inside of the headset carrying case. So, uh, pretty interesting right there. Uh, how do we open this up? Oh, okay. There we go. And let's get the headset pulled out right here. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. More foam pieces. Oh, there we go. So, here's the headset itself. Feels a uh, nice, good quality. I guess the real actual metal ear cups right there, which is pretty sick. Let's see if we can get a little focus in on that. On that razor logo, that bright green razor logo right there. Not bad, not bad. So pretty cool. Let's get a focus back in on my hand here. There we go. So yeah, uh, pretty good filling. Uh, the the ear cups, I believe, are memory foam. I believe even right up here is memory foam as well. They feel really good. They feel nice and soft. Uh, decent size ear cups. I probably would have liked to see a little bit bigger size ear cups, but that's just me. It's kind of my own personal preference. The rest of that is just foam in the box. I don't think there's anything left in the box with that. Uh, let's see what we got right here. Just the actual cable itself and the USB sound card. All right. So and a good braided cable. Uh, the cable is not removable on that end. But it does have a really good length to it, which is definitely a huge plus. That's something I like to see when it's a non-removable cable. The mic is removable. Got the uh, volume wheel right there. I'm assuming this is the mic. Oh yeah, that's the mic right there, so. Okay. Cool. So anyways, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the headset right there. Let's uh Let's get this bad boy hooked up. We'll start working on it and uh, we'll do a little review. Let's get it. So let's start with comfort. This is where this headset absolutely excels. The memory phone ear cups and the headband right here, they just feel so good. Especially after a long gaming session or like an extended gaming session, you really feel the comfort here in this little guy. The material is very breathable. There's only one spot that has like faux leather and it's across the top right here. The rest is all this kind of cushiony memory foam. And when you just put it on, you immediately feel the comfort. The, the, the ear cuffs are nice and big. They go around your ear really well. They don't sit too, too heavy, but it also has a really good clamping force, a heavier clamping force than I'm used to with my headsets, but it just feels right. Like it, it just sits just right on your head and, and it really molds your head extremely well. So for me, once I got this adjusted, once I got it set to my head, I didn't find myself having to readjust constantly or trying to maneuver it around for comfort. Uh, the only thing I will say though is that I did experience a hot spot on the bottom of my ears, usually after about the three to four hour gaming mark there. Now let's talk sound. 
You can't talk about a gaming headset without talking about the sound of it. Now, I'm not an audiophile by any means, and of course, we're talking about a gaming headset, not a professional studio headset or anything like that. This is possibly one of the best sounding gaming headsets I've ever heard. The trebles, mids, and bass are perfectly balanced just when using the, uh, the little millimeter jack. Uh, you just plugged in that way through my Go XLR. I had zero issues. Nothing sound muddied. Everything comes through crystal clear uh, and it's actually balanced extremely well, which is not commonly the case with gaming headsets. You usually seem to find them balanced a little more to the base side. Now, whenever you plug this headset in through the USB dongle, however, that's when this headset absolutely shines with its audio. Uh, that, that takes the audio of this thing and uh, pushes it to a whole new level for gaming headsets. The reason being is that the software gives you full control of what you hear and how you hear it. And especially when you're talking about the THX Spatial surround sound that comes along with this one. Yeah. So with that THX Spatial sound, you get adjustments on, on the bass, you know, the trebles and the mids. And especially with the bass, you can add a boost if you want a heavier bass hit. Or you can dial it back if you don't want that. You know, if you're playing a game like Battlefield, you probably want a little more bass added in there. You can get that with the software. Now for me, I play Escape from Tarkov and Apex Legends, and especially with the THX, you hear the sounds around you extremely well. You can hear, you kind of get a better idea of, you know, what level, if it's high or low, that the, that the footsteps are coming through. Now, of course, like I said, the only caveat to that is that it does require Razer Synapse software, which uh, I'm not a huge fan of, but, you know, for this headset right here, for what it offers when you use that software, I can get past that. Now, the only area I do feel like this headset does fail in, you know, with audio, is when it comes to listening to music. These aren't the best headphones to listen to music with. Everything's gonna sound fine, but that's when it actually kind of does get a little bass heavier than normal. Even when you're adjusting the EQs and, you know, the sound coming through in the on the software, it just doesn't sound quite as good as it would through like a like a normal pair of headphones that are made for music instead of gaming. Now the mic. The mic on this thing is actually extremely good uh, and it gets better with the software, which I'll talk about here in just a second. Now when you're using the headset through just like the millimeter jack, uh, you know, comparing this to the MH630, uh, the MH630 absolutely blows this thing out of the water. It definitely has the better mic there. However, when you're using this with that USB dongle, when you're using it through the actual software, this thing excels like it is an, it is a crazy crazy good headset mic now before we go into the, all of the details about that let's go ahead and do a sound test of this mic and i'll compare it to the hyper x cloud 2s and the mh630 so you can hear them all three together so here's a sound test of the mic for the razer black shark v2 when used with the usb dongle and now a sound test for the mic when it's plugged into the 3.5 millimeter jack on my go xlr mini and for comparison, here's a sound test on the mic for the HyperX Cloud 2s. And for my final comparison, the mic on the Cooler Master MH630 headset. Now, as you probably heard, this mic has a bit of natural reverb to it, just as it is. It's pretty interesting, and I think that kind of adds a bit to making the mic sound even better for it being a headset mic. It kind of adds a little more depth to the mic. Now, in the software, you can adjust the mic volume. You can add a noise gate to the mic, which is really, really cool. On a headset mic, I've never seen a software allow you to actually set a noise gate. But then you can also add little enhancement filters and things like that to make it sound even better for your friends or for your teammates as you're playing. Plus, you get a full equalizer to fully adjust how your mic sounds, which I, th I think is really cool because, you know, some people speak with a little more of a trebly voice. Some people have a deeper voice, so you can adjust it how you need it to be. And I, I think that's incredible. That's a very, very nice touch on Razer's part. Now, for build quality, the first thing I noticed when I pulled this headset out of the mic is just how light it is. At 262 grams, like, it, it fits on your head just well. Like, I mean, when you put it on your head, you don't feel it dragging down. It sits nice and light. It doesn't move. You don't even want to move it because you don't, you kind of get to a point where you stop noticing that it's there. And, of course, when you know, when I hear that it's that light, and my first concern is the quality of materials. And, and Razer in the past, you know, I, I've had some issues with some of their headsets before. Uh, but this one actually excels in the quality of materials. Like I said, it's got the faux leather up top, uh, but then the ear cups right here are this like kind of brushed matte plastic, uh, but it almost, the quality of the plastic almost feels like it's brushed aluminum. That's how good the quality of this plastic is right here. The ear cups are adjustable in height with these metal wires. The volume knob is adjustable right here on the side. You can adjust this volume knob up and down. And when you hit the 50% mark, it actually has this tactile stop in the middle, which uh, kind of gives you a good idea to let you know, you know, where your volume is kind of set at. As for the mic itself, first off, you can mute it. It has a mute built into the headset. You click it in the mute, 
clicking out to unmute and, and it's even color coded with their classic razor green so you know whether or not it's actually muted. The mic itself is removable so you can just pluck it right off of there. So if you're wearing this out and about in public, you don't have to look like you're wearing a gaming headset because you can remove this mic and not even have to worry about it. The cable is sadly not removable, but at least on the plus side to Razer, they made it extremely long. I, I really appreciate the length of this because that makes a massive difference right there. And it's a nice light paracorded cable, kind of like what they're using with their mice. And so that's really good. Then on the end of the cable, the millimeter jack is actually angled at a 90 degree, which is something uh, you never see on headsets. And I think that's really cool. I think it's a really good idea, especially for you console users that have to plug this directly into a controller. That's going to be a huge thing for, you know, for overall comfort, you know, when you're holding your controller and uh, it just, it's going to make it plug in a little bit better. And, uh, and I really, really appreciate this, this angle of this cable right here. Now back to the cup adjustment real quick, even though, you know, it is these metal wires, I do kind of fear for it. Uh, I, I don't really love this system. As you can kind of see it, you know, you can adjust on either side so you can get a little more personal adjustment there. But at the end of the day, I, I don't know it just kind of it kind of feels rickety to me a bit and it's probably fine i mean i haven't heard of any complaints of these breaking or anything but it just kind of worries me a little bit but then also to go into the foam that they used uh, i don't feel like this foam is going to have any issues breaking down over time or anything like that you know like say like with the cooler master mh630s that foam definitely started to weaken up on the on the headband part and i don't think that's going to happen here you could definitely feel that this is a little more of a a better a really good quality memory foam and i think it's going to hold up really well over time. Now for side notes, the color scheme is just something I don't like about Razer products. And it's weird because on the cheaper version of the Black Shark, you don't have this Razer logo. You don't have this bright green Razer logo. But for some reason on the on the, the V2, they put that on there and I kind of wish they would have left it off. I, I, in all honesty, like I just don't like the bright green and green's my favorite color. I don't like the bright green on here. I would have rather just seen it be solid black or offer you a full range of different colors to choose from. I think that would have been pretty cool. Mainly the green and black aesthetic, it just looks gamery to me. And, and I'm kind of just over the aesthetic that everything for gamers has to be super gamery looking and stuff. And things can look modern and still be for gamers. The bag that these come with is very cheap. It honestly feels like it was an extra piece of packing material. Like, I mean, it is a horrible bag. I, I don't know why they included it with it, but in all honesty, you know, I wouldn't count this product off because of that bag, mainly because I never use those bags anyways. So it just is what it is. So coming in at $99, you're competing with the Hyper S Cloud Alphas and quite a few other headsets out there on the market at that price range. And I think these are possibly the best ones on the market right now. The comfort, you know, the length of the cable, the, the full robust software that you get to play with and everything. I think that makes it absolutely 10,000% worth it. I think these are gonna be the new Hyper S Cloud 2s. If you remember Hyper S Cloud 2s, you know, a few years ago, that was the biggest, like the most well-known and most loved gaming headset. I think these are gonna replace it. Uh, these really do hit the mark and they hit every note that they need to and they do it so well. So yeah, for $99, for everything you get with this headset, everything that this headset's capable of doing, I think it's absolutely worth it. I think it is a great, great value. And if you found them on sale, you know that's even better. But at full price for $99, 100% worth it, and I would definitely buy these again. So anyways, guys, that's my review of the Razer Black Shark V2 gaming headset. Let me know down in the comments below, did you love this headset? Did you pick it up? Have you used it? Are you thinking about getting this headset? Let me know down in the comments below, or just let me know what headset you were using. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this... But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this review right here. Thank you so much for checking it out, guys. As always, stay safe, stay swole, and until next time, peace.